Hi everyone, welcome. I hope you, I uh, trust you and your families are, are keeping safe and well. And if you like me, you're just itching to play your next round of golf. Let's be honest, it's been a long time. In the greater scheme of things, we understand. But I do think it's time with the right precautions that we can get back onto the golf course and playing a bit of golf, practicing good health and safety measures. So for now, we might as well have a cup of coffee, have a little chat. And today's topic is mainly gonna be about the golf ball. All right. And question number one is, what golf ball do I use? Now I've played with many golf balls over the years, but I have to admit I've stuck to pretty much the same golf ball round in, round out for the past 10 years or so. And that is the Titleist Pro B1X. So yeah, it's a fantastic golf ball. This is not a product review or anything like that. Uh, but it's just it's my personal preference and I like to use the Titus Pro V1X um, I like the feel of the, the club face when you're hitting the driver I like the feel of the club face when you're hitting the irons I like the control and the spin that you get um, around the green with your chips and your off your bunker shots and I love the, the feel of the putter face of the Titus Pro V1X I have played with various golf balls over the years I played with Callaway Chrome so I've played with the Strixion Z Stars. I've, I've played with the TaylorMade um, Tour Preferred Series. I've even played with a Wilson back in the day. No offense, Wilson. The main reason why I like using the Pro V1X is really I love the feel that you get around the greens with the Pro V1X. When I got a chip shot in hand, I know I know the feeling that I'm going to get when I hit a good chip shot and how the ball's going to react on the green, etc., etc. So. Um, and I would, I would highly recommend using the Titus Pro V1X. But this video is not sponsored anyway. So we had to talk about just my personal preference. The next thing is I use the Titus Pro V1X. What golf ball do you use? Feel free to let me know, contact me, let me know. A lot of people that I play golf with, they ask me, why do I use the Titus Pro V1X and not the Titus Pro V1? Uh, for me, it's more, um, it's more in my mind, it's more mentally. I, when I tee up the ball specifically, I feel like I can hit the Titus Pro V1X further than the Pro V1. It's more a mental thing, and I feel like the wind doesn't affect it. On the coast, it does get windy here, and I just feel that with the Pro V1X, especially, especially into the wind, I can hit the ball just that extra yard or two further than the Pro V1. But once again, that's just my personal kind of preference. Okay, what about colored golf balls? We've seen some of the professionals use colored golf balls, Bubba Watson and Rory Sabatini, etc. They use, um, they generally have used a yellow golf ball. But what about colored golf balls? That's a good question. My personal preference, I don't really like the, I don't really like a colored golf ball, the way it looks in the air, the way it looks on the, on the, on the ground, etc, etc. I much prefer the sand white, and I'm very happy to stay with white you will probably never see me using a colored golf ball. However, one thing I have noticed with players playing the game of golf is that more and more colored golf balls are being used um, as a form of identification, as a form of preference, as a, people just obviously are enjoying using and using different colored golf balls, which is quite interesting. Um, one thing I will give colored golf balls a little bit of credit for is that absolutely, a colored golf ball does not scuff and deteriorate in wear and tear like a white golf ball does. The colored golf balls definitely last a bit longer than the white golf balls. The colored golf balls, not just yellow golf balls, but color, any colored golf ball generally lasts longer than a white golf ball. So yeah, some food for thought. So how do I mark my golf ball? And it's, it's a little bit twofold. So I mark all my golf balls by using one of these gadgets here, where I draw a line on the golf ball um, that aids my, my putting on the, on the green. And that's, this is pretty much the only marking I put on the golf ball, because it's normally enough to identify my golf ball. So as a personal preference, what I do is I like to draw on the, where the actual writing where it says Pro V1X. I draw over that in a one straight line. So now that my golf ball is nice and clearly marked, just like that, 
What I do is I use that marking as an aid for when I'm putting. To be honest, this is a tip that I've only probably used in the last maybe two years or so. And what I find with my putting is that I pick a line, I use the marking to mark exactly where I want the ball to start. And from there, it just uncomplicates things when it comes to putting. I line my putter ahead with a line on the golf ball, so I know that then I know that I'm lining up correctly. And I just know, just pull the putter back, back straight back, straight through. Now if I put a good stroke in it, and if I make a good read, I've got a very good chance of making that putt. So especially with the putts from six feet and in, it's really, really has helped, helped my short putting a lot. So yeah, just that simple thing of just, just drawing a line on the golf ball. Okay, so now that you know what golf ball I use, um, it'll be interesting, interesting to hear what golf balls that you guys, um, you guys use. The last thing to talk about is that we finally have got some live golf to look forward to this weekend. And Sunday night in South African time. You know, I don't know about you, but I haven't watched any live sport for such a long time. It really is something nice to look forward to. And I'll definitely be glued to my, my TV screen on Sunday evening watching um, those four players play. So obviously it's Rory McIlroy and Dustin Johnson versus versus Ricky Fowler and Matthew Wolf. For I know they're playing for a good cause. Um, so both uh, teams have got their foundations that if they win um, or whatever money they win, they will donate to their charity. I think it's I think it's three million US dollars is up for grabs on the day. So it's all for a good cause, which I think is great. And um, the question is, who is your money on? I got, I have to admit, my money, my money's on the bombers. And by bombers, I mean. McElroy and Johnson. I mean, I know Matthew Wolf can hit a ball out there, Ricky Fowles no slash, but I think McElroy and Johnson have got too much power for Fowler and Wolf. But that is my opinion. They got them in the World Golf rankings, obviously. So yes, I am backing the favorites, but I do think that um, those two will win. But it'll be in interesting to hear what your thoughts are and how do you think the match is gonna go. It's, um, it's gonna be interesting, but I have to admit, I'm really looking forward to it. It's live golf. What more can you ask for? You know, watching some of the best players play, chasing their white ball around the golf course, even though we can't at the moment. It's great. Let's watch it. Let's see what happens. Thank you for listening. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Just a little friendly chat about um, my personal preference in terms of the golf ball I use and then also how I mark the golf ball. It does assist me, so you guys can give it a try. But this is just the first of uh, many um, videos and vlogs that I'll be doing. Hopefully, I can be at the home environment one day and do some more videos and vlogs and golf courses, etc., etc., which will be great. But for now, this is the best I got. So, hope you enjoyed. Look forward to your comments. Please feel free to to message me. Cheers.